Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Waldemar Art. And today I'm going to be doing an art review and critique for one of my patrons. His name is Kai. He subscribes to my mentorship Patreon tier over on my Patreon. And then he sent me this image and then I'm going to be doing an art review and critique over it. For those of you who are interested in doing uh, something over on my Patreon, uh, such as a mentorship or just to show support or kind of see inside tricks and tips and things that I post uh, over exclusively on my Patreon, check that out. It's patreon.com slash world of art and over there there's a lot of fun stuff that you can look at uh, for those of you who landed on my channel and you don't know who i am my name is walden wong i'm a comic book artist from marvel and dc comics and you can check out more of me and my work over on my uh, website is waldenwongart.com and you over there there's a shop page there's a gallery page links and news and a lot of fun stuff that you can look at so without further ado we're gonna look at kai's work and here we go Okay, so here's Kai's work. Kai sent me a page uh, from the penciling over here. We're gonna take a closer look. Uh, this is the inking, this is just penciling, and I'm gonna go over some of the penciling techniques that he's done and to see if we can make things a little bit better. So we have a page right over here. I'm just gonna darken up this page. Uh, I'm using Photoshop just to do some reviews. So right now the pencils are, looks like it's a photograph as opposed to a scan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to image, adjustment, levels. I'm just gonna darken up so it's a little bit more clear so I can see some of the details a little bit more. Um, Sometimes if you're um, have, when you're done with the page and you don't have a scan, you, you don't scan it, you can always take a picture of it with your camera phone and then just uh, do it, some adjustments on Photoshop like what I'm doing over here. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the first panel. Here's the first panel. This is supposed to be the Hulk, Weapon X. And then here's the second panel, like two uh, kids walking. And then on the third panel, they're walking through a hallway. And then the last panel, Weapon X, the Hulk. Uh, this is like the Hulk slash, this is like half Hulk, have Wolverine, that's why there's a clause there. He's like uh, attacking these three guys over there. So we're gonna take a look at each panel at a time and see what we can do differently to make it look better. First of all, the face of the drawing looks pretty good. There's um, there's really nothing wrong with the face. The shadow, it may be a little bit more shadow based on the light source. I'm gonna use a different color so we can uh, distinguish uh, what I've uh, marked up. We're just gonna use blue in this case. Okay, so the face, good job on having this form right over here. I think that that's very nice. The nostrils may be a little bit longer, some shadows over there, okay. Um, if there's that heavy shadow there, if the sh I don't know if this is supposed to be an eye eyebrow or a shadow. Let's just say that's a shadow and the light source is coming from here. If so, there should be a little bit more shadow coming from this direction, just to give it more of a like a heavy feel. Like the ear, ears, for example, here, it's just a few lines. Uh, if the light source is coming from this direction, I would actually go and add some more shadows behind some of these areas, like right over here. Don't just, don't just leave it blank, okay? So we have some of the muscles and shapes over here, some of the um, areas right here. Okay, right over here, what I would do is, instead of having this line, like I'm gonna circle this here, instead of having a line going to black, what I'll do is I'll use white or eraser and just erase that little bit so that kind of goes through. So the drawing of that, uh, the vein just kind of continues on over here. So that would look nice. Good job on the hatching. The pencil hatching, how you're drawing these lines over here. Very good, okay. Uh, nice shadows. Now, when you draw a halo, I would recommend I know that you're drawing this line over here, like a crisp line, and then here, you're kind of like lightly shading it. Um, sometimes if you're a penciler and you're drawing something for someone else to ink, and then the inker gets it, they, they don't know if you want this to be like maybe a crosshatch feel or, or a, a white halo line. So in this case, I would use a pencil and kind of draw that line consistently a little bit closer. Now, when you create a halo, even when you're drawing in pencil, try to draw for the inker. Uh, make sure that line is uh, a thin white consistency so the inkers uh, know what to do when they're inking that, as well as for yourself. So I would go in there and just make sure the spacing in between the object and then the black part is nicely uh, surrounded like that. You have it, but it's just a little bit uh, faded. Okay, good job here. Again, um, with this side of the shadow here, with this side of the chest, the left heck over here, I'll add a little bit more shadow just to show more form of some of those muscles um, that's, you know, that's more rounded. Okay, let's take a look at the arm. Okay, good. That's panel one. Let's look at the panel two. 
Uh, panel 2, there's a little bit of something that's a little bit off on panel 2. Like, um, I like how this eye is drawn. Actually, like, both eyes are drawn really well, but one eye is a little bit higher than the other eye. This eye here, like if I drew a line right across, you can see that this line right over here, that eye is above that line. That tells me that that eye is a little bit uh, higher. Even if, you, if, even if it's tilted, even if the head is tilted. Like if I was going to tilt the head like here, and then I look at that line, it's still a little bit too high. So what I would do is I would erase that eye. First of all, if you like, if you draw two, two eyes and both eyes are kind of wonky looking, uh, what I would do is I would look at each eye and figure out which eye I, I like better. And then the eye I like better, I would just keep that eye and now erase the other one. So in this case, I'm just gonna take this eye and then I'm just gonna move this a little bit lower. Okay, so now, now it's within level. Okay, so when we look at the eye, eye here, it's with a level. Okay, the ears, the ears are somewhat in level. Okay, look at here. This ear is a little bit too high. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower that down. Good job on the lips. Uh, nice job drawing on the nose. And let's look at the, look at the other character. Um, eye, eyes are leveled, nose are leveled, uh, ears, ears also leveled. Okay, uh, so I'm starting to notice uh, something. Like just like with this girl's ear, you drew it a little bit higher. Same thing happened with this boy's ear. You drew that a little bit higher. So just make sure when you draw um, front facing portraits that the ears are aligned, okay? Unless the ears are like, for example, like tilted or something, and that, that'll be uh, something different. Uh, nice job on the shad, the fabric of the collar. Now with the collar, what I'm drawing in pencil, I like to add a shadow. Like for example, there's a shadow here. This will give depth to your artwork. So I will add a little bit of a shadow here as well. And then on, on the inside of the um, the jacket from where the t-shirt is, I would also add a little bit of t uh, shadow over here, okay? Um, don't be afraid to add more shadows around some areas in between the arms and and the, um, the sleeve over here, okay? Uh, more shadows, uh, the more shadows you have, the nicer it looks, okay? Um, this technique actually, what you're doing here, this is this is kind of a nice texture. Uh, I don't know if you're just scribbling in that or you're gonna draw that and kind of create that texture behind for someone else to ink or that you're gonna be inking later. Uh, but that's a little bit of a nice texture. I, I, I like how that looks. Okay, uh, we're gonna take a uh, look at this here area um, um, right over here. So when we look at this character, you have all the collarbone over here, but this girl doesn't have the collarbone. Just make sure you indicate a little bit of a collarbone and then some of the lines for the neck over there okay uh, same thing uh, let's do some shadows on the ears okay let's not forget those shadows it creates depth into your artwork even if not having any shadows just kind of like darken up the lines a little bit okay i notice her eyes they're kind of like almost like cat eyes a little bit uh, kind of like straight i don't know if this character's eyes will be like cat eyes but i would make sure uh, to have those rounded instead okay like more like human eyes but if, you know if it's supposed to be cat eyes then it's okay. There we go. I'm like having it rounded. It. Okay, good. And then for the hair, um, I would actually kind of draw in the strands of the hair. If you're drawing for comic book, instead of having it all solid black and then like scribbling lines, I would actually go in there and maybe draw strips of lines and then kind of like add details in between. Uh, if it's supposed to be a solid black, just make sure it's completely solid. And then on the outside, have some strips of lines, like waves, just to make sure uh, those hair looks like here because right now if if an inker got this um because you know i'm professionally as a comic book inker and then i'm looking at images sometimes i'll look at image and i'm thinking how am i going to ink this um, just make sure you're as a penciler you draw everything in there that an inker will look at it and understand what that is so here um if it's like a simple completely solid black area just make sure you have a white halo in between that okay we're gonna take a look at this. Okay, make sure the outfit, I would darken up some of this line here just to make it stand out a little bit more. Okay, now hair. Okay, good job on adding, looks like she's, uh, let me cancel this. Looks like she has like a lighter color hair. You drew a few strands of uh, hair right here. I would actually add a few more shadows, uh, strands over here, and then kind of break it up. Instead of having just one solid line, like a black and then white, kind of break up the lines, add a few more strands in between, so it looks a little bit better. Even though if it's like, uh, if she has like black hair or uh, blonde hair or red hair or whatever color hair, just add a few more strands uh, just to give it more, more of a texture feel to the hair, like that, so that would look nice. And then maybe some sideburns as well over here. 
for the girl uh, as well as the as well as the guy over here the boy okay we're gonna look at the third panel third panel we see that boy walking forward I, uh, actually i like the way this face looks it's a really stylized face now when i'm drawing faces the eyes always comes like when the forehead it goes out goes in which you've done well comes back out comes back in here good okay uh, the neck is a little bit too long in comparison to what I see in the first panel. I would actually move that uh, head a little bit lower. Okay, so I'm going to take this head and just move it a little bit lower just to make sure it matches. Now, sometimes you've drawn a perfect face and you don't want to erase the head to match it into the body. So in this case, what I would do is I would actually erase the body and then redraw the body and move it up. So you can always keep that head, uh, redraw that body and just move it up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So let's just say I kept that part because redrawing the faces are a little bit too hard sometimes. I'm gonna go here and then redraw it, redraw a little bit bigger and just increase the size. So now it looks a little bit better, okay? Now if you're drawing this, and then later on you're doing some post-production work on your pencil page like on photoshop you can always scan it and then kind of do adjustments like what i'm doing here on photoshop okay okay so this panel here just looks great uh eyes same thing you're having the right eye a little bit too high again um so just move that eye down you keep the eyebrow in the same place or just a little bit yeah Make sure your eyes are aligned, okay? I don't have one eye taller. The eyes are drawn nicely, it's just not aligned. Just make sure it's aligned, okay? Now here, you've drawn her neck. So good job, neck. You drew that line over here, which you didn't have up here. Now, when you draw that line, um, it looks nice. Just have a little bit of on the other side. Good job, don't forget the collarbone. Don't forget a little bit of the collarbone. And here, you have a shoulder here. I would have maybe a little bit of the arm. Okay, just a little bit of arm, it could be going this way or a little bit going this way. Don't just have uh, a body there and all of a sudden you have a missing arm. So you can always add like another arm over there. Uh, good job on the shadowing. I will add some shadows down here as well. Okay, just taper some of those lines up over there. Okay, look at the other panel. So this panel, the character from my discussions with Kai, they're walking down a hallway. So just make sure you draw that hallway a little bit more clearer, okay? So we have, um, let's see, the hallway, maybe maybe like this. Uh, we would have the hallway like that, and then here's the entrance of a hallway or something. Okay, just a little bit more clearer. Like the hallway, I can't really tell what's going on. And then maybe um, you can also draw some lines here, maybe a, a door just to establish that hallway a little bit better. Um, you can also draw like a checkerboard pattern for the floors to make the floors more like the vanishing point in the perspective a little bit better. Okay, you can also do that, okay? Okay, and we're gonna look at the bottom panel. Now, this is the Hulk and then he's twisting. Um, with the angle of his back, I would actually have this back a little bit bigger. I would, okay, good job on this arm here. This job. The arm here is drawn pretty good. I would make the shoulder here a little bit bigger. Like you have this shoulder, but it looks kind of small. I would actually make the shoulder much, much bigger, much more rounded over here. Uh, it looks like maybe you're drawing sections. Maybe this can be shoulder and this can be a little bit of the, um, like a bump or something. But what I'll do is I'll go here and then I'll, I'll make that darker and then make that shadow here a little bit stronger. So we can see the, the, whole, the whole shoulder right over here. Okay, and here is the head. The head, the angle of the head. Okay, let's draw a little bit of the other eye and then have this come forward here. Okay, so um, maybe draw some little bit of a, like saliva coming out as he's, as he's yelling. Okay, you drew screws there, good. Now, on the last panel, I would have some kind of background going on. Right now, you just have the Hulk here and you have these characters. You know, um, I would add maybe some kind of lines or some kind of speed lines. If you're not, if there's no call for any details of the backgrounds or buildings or like landscape in the background, you can always just draw speed lines just to indicate where um, all this action is happening here. So think of this as the vanishing point of where all the folk, like, where the focal point is, and then draw speed lines facing this vanishing point right over here. Okay, this way it directs the reader towards that area. Now as the weapon X, as the Hulk um, plunges through the head over here, and then the head, and then the this part comes out, I would actually draw some gushy stuff coming out, and then, and then, and then the, uh, the blades over here, not, not like clean, but some kind of blood coming out over here. 
Okay, I like how you have this guy looking over, <laughs> and then and then he's smiling over there. Looks like he's like, hey, I don't know if my teammates are uh, like getting getting uh, annihilated. Okay, now over here, I don't know why you have a character head like uh, coming out from from his body here. So um, I don't know what's going on here. Like, is he like is his torso having another head? So what here? What you can do? And also another thing is <clears throat> these characters' heads. They're like they're consistent in size, and all of a sudden, the bottom character, this this guy is pretty big. Like this head is pretty big. Um, I don't know if he's supposed to be an image in the background, or like he's like projecting another image out. So what you can do is you can um, go in here and kind of draw like a body in here to make this character look. He's in the foreground. So here's a body, here's a shoulder, and then like he's he's yelling or something. Now. The script originally on my Patreon, I do have, I did uh, upload a script for you to follow. Uh, and for, for those of you who are uh, joining my Patreon, you can also download scripts and then uh, draw from there. So as I'm reviewing this, I'm, I know what the script calls for, but I'm looking at it as if I don't know what the script is. So um, when you're drawing something, one rule of thumb is that you're drawing something and for someone who's looking at your artwork and they don't understand what's going on, um, they should, you should be able to draw something and then the viewer who looks at it will understand everything that's going on based on your drawing. So if so, once you're done drawing something and you look at it and then you feel like something is kind of off, just go back in, erase it and redraw it. And then kind of look at it through another set of eyes uh, when you're looking at your own work. Sometimes you can look at your work through the reflection of a mirror just so it looks like you're looking at somebody else's work. You can also turn, look at your Bristol board, turn it around and look at it through the sunlight or through a window or something, and then see how it looks like uh, on the reverse side. A lot of times when you turn your image around and you look at it, you can kind of see some of the flaws and the mistakes that you've done and you can always fix that. Okay, so that's my review of um, Kai's work who subscribes to one of my Patreon pages. Uh, over on my Patreon, one of my Patreon uh, links. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, keep up the good work, Kai. Um, the more you practice, the better you get. That goes with anyone. So keep on drawing, and then if you have more work for me to review, just upload it to me, Kai. So um, there you have it. That's today's review of uh, one of my patrons' uh, artwork, the art review and critique. I uh, hope you enjoy something from this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, check out my website. It's worldwallart.com. Uh, over there, there's a lot of different tiers and a lot of different web links and social media things that you can look at. And then also check out my uh, Patreon page. My Patreon page is one with a lot of different tiers. Uh, there are just tiers for uh, mentorship tiers. There's also uh, viewership, also exclusive content where I post what I'm working on as well as uh, tips that, you, uh, that I don't post anywhere else on social media. So check that out. So until next time, please keep on drawing. Um, the more you practice, the better you get. Take care. Bye-bye.